batch of 10. Okay, we didn't hold the fuck. Okay, hold on. What the fuck? Hold up. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Oh, okay, excuse me? Why are we still here? <laughs> Just to suffer. That's why he's the goat! The goat! Alright lads, so today's video we're going to be jumping into an Ian Rush review. Now, this is a card that I do get suggested quite a lot in the comments. A lot of you guys are saying like how good this guy's finishing is. Looking at his card, he does look very nice. He has some stats that are a little bit air, eh, but I've got a good feeling about this card. Not to mention I am a Liverpool fan, so obviously I know a lot about Ian Rush. Like, you know, I didn't grow up watching him or anything, but he's a club legend, you know, so I'm happy. I'm happy to review him. We did get the prime version because in my opinion it is the best one, except for of course his moments. Now the moments card, boys, if you've looked at the moments Ian Rush, oh my my god, it is absolutely filth. Like the moments card, he's got a five star weak foot. Uh, he's got just incredible stats. Like that is. That is some upgrade. I like this. I want this inside of me. But the other versions of Ian Rush do look very good. I think it's the middle one that I'd probably say is the weakest one. I think the baby card looked pretty good. But to be fair, they're very cheap, the baby and the uh, the middle one. They're not they're not too expensive. I think, which one? This is the baby one, I think. Uh, yeah, the baby one looks very good. He's not quite as good at shooting as the prime version, but the pace is good and, and the dribbling is, is just as good as the prime one. And then you've got the middle one, which, again, does look good. The shooting stats are very, very good on this card, but the pace and the dribbling are a bit, eh, they're not quite as good uh, as the as the prime version so in, in my opinion i think the prime version is probably the best value for money wise the baby one is also really good value for money obviously the moments one is the best one but it is a lot of money so you know hopefully he does come down in price i can't really see it because uh, ea doesn't doesn't like releasing them in packs very often and we haven't got icon sbc so i can't see him coming down in price so for me the prime version is probably the best one for money so let's just jump into the in games of this card okay so high medium work rates he is only a free star skiller which again is going to put a lot of you guys off you know i know a lot of you guys like your skill moves done i'm fucking done fuck you fuck you fuck you fuck you he does have a four star weak foot however which is obviously great again the pace on this card is nothing absolutely ridiculous but it is good like that is still solid pace it's not bad at all and like you guys were saying the shooting on this card looks absolutely ridiculous like i just i mean what the fuck am i looking at there boys uh, there's two stats below 90 on the shooting. That is, uh, that's just not okay. One of the concerns for me, lads, on this card is the passing. It's really quite bad. I don't usually focus on the passing, but it's it's not looking good here. Like 78 short and passing is, is okay, but the the long passing, I'm gonna try to avoid uh, doing too many over the top through balls and stuff like that with this card because I just imagine he's gonna be terrible at them. Another concern for me is the low agility. It's not the lowest. It's definitely it definitely could be lower, but the the balance and the agility are a bit shit. The, the rest of the dribbling stats there are really good though. You've got great ball control, in-game dribbling's decent and, and the composure's insane. So he could he could still feel really good on the ball. It's just a little bit a little bit concerning. You can't scare me with this. And then physically we've got no problems here. Decent stamina and really good strength. So overall you've got a very good card. This card is very cheap as well. It only cost me 400,000 coins so he's not an expensive icon by any means and there's some really good cards in here. Really looking forward to this because that shooting is just outrageous. Uh, so yeah this should be good boys. So yeah lads, we put together a cheeky little team. Pretty familiar faces all around except for of course these Argentinian lads. I don't usually use Mascherano. In fact I haven't used him for the longest time but uh, he's probably one of my favourite CDMs in this game uh, but the main reason we've obviously got him is so we can link up this brand new Akuna. He looks absolutely incredible. Like this card is actually insane especially for a free card. He's not the easiest to link up but uh, you cannot deny this is a good ass card. That's good shit right there. I did get a lot of you guys asking me to record that and make a video on Akuna. I will promise that I will do the objective for, for the next set of players if there, there should be a there should be a second player I'm guessing so I promise I will get to that but I just wanted to take a little bit of a break with the objective videos I was getting a lot of those out I don't want to like bore you guys with those videos I know a lot of you guys do enjoy those so I did want to take just a small breather with those I don't want to do every objective video I want to you know I want to I want to make it so it's it's, it's a special video if that makes sense so yeah that's so what we're going to do is we're going to switch into a 4 and 2 on 2 I'll play Mascherano as a CDM we'll use Akuna and 
and we'll use Sadov as the centre mids. I'll put Butcher at Cam and then Ozzyman and Ian Rush will play up front. So yeah, lads, I'm really looking forward to this. You know, Ian Rush, he's a club legend of, of Liverpool Football Club, the team that I support. He's got a banging card and uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty psyched, I'm not going to lie. So yeah, fingers crossed for some good performance from Ian Rush. Let's jump into game number one. Alright, we're just, just steady building it up. Kuna, good ball. Ian Rush, finish! What has happened there then? That might be the easiest goal you'll ever see. I I I'll take it, I ain't complaining. Good. What a ball. Ossiman! Easy sweat, easy sweat. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. Oh, man, give me that run, lad, give me that run. Nice, back two. Oh, he's gone for his legs. The absolute aid, Ian Rush! What's happening? I'm scoring some absolutely aid goals today, but that finish was actually really nice. That was a great finish. That's beautiful football. That is absolutely brilliant. Sade off with the smoke. He don't want the smoke right now. <laughs> Incredible. I don't know why this guy's not quitting though. Like, come on, dude. Come on. We got shit to do today. Nice. Gone. Ian Rush. Has he got the pace? Oh, he definitely has. Has he got the finish? He should bury that. He should bury that though with that 94 finishing. Oh, what a pass. What a touch. Cross it over. Ian Rush! No, oh, yes! What a header! That was absolutely brilliant. Great play. Oh my god, what is this guy? Fuck, fuck, what am I fuck, doing? Fuck, what am I, what am I fucking fuck, doing? You're a donut! You're so stupid! You're so stupid! You're stupid! Look at that. What an interception. Alright, Ian Rush. Long shot. Oh! What a save! Oh, good tackle from Sadoff. Mascherano. No idea what you're doing there. Oh my god, has he saved that? Two. Great pass, brilliant. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it across. Ian Rush for the hat trick. Little bit, little bit. Not, you know. English motherfucker, do you speak it? Well, overall, boys and girls, I can't really complain. Like Ian Rush was really good. You know, he had a great performance. Scored himself a hat trick. Admittedly, I did feed him a little bit, especially that third goal. Uh, but you know, I, it had to be done. Okay, it, it had to be done. But yeah, he had a great performance. He wasn't as clinical as I thought he'd be. Like if that makes sense, he did miss one or two chances that he probably should have buried. But he was very good indeed. Like his, I think it was the first goal he scored was really, really nicely taken. A really nice finish. So hopefully, we can get more of the same in game number two because he had a very, very good performance. I have to say what surprised me a lot about this card is his passing was actually quite good. I know his short passing isn't actually that bad, but I was just, I was expecting his passing to be shit because I know what this game is like. Uh, you know, passing is just weirdly shit in this game. Uh, but his passing was really good, so I'll, I'll, give him, I'll give him props. As for his dribbling, I'm a little bit mixed on it. On the one hand, it doesn't feel bad at all, but it definitely doesn't feel great. You know, it doesn't, he doesn't feel like Boutra. Understandably so, because uh, he doesn't have the best dribbling. I think, I think what you like, if you get this card, I'm not going to do it because I can't be bothered, but I, I, I got this card with a hunter on it. If I get, if you, if there, if you guys do get this card, if I were you, I'd probably put an engine chem style on him because it does boost the passing, which is a little bit lacking on this card. It obviously boosts the pace, which is good, and obviously uh, it boosts the dribbling as well. So I would I would say the engine chem style is probably the best chem style. It's probably perfect for him. But yeah, so far so good, boys and girls. Let's jump to game number two. Win that, win that, win that. No, no! Got Ian Rush. Oh my god, look at that space. What is this guy's defense? All right, you've got to finish this Ian Rush. How are you saving that? It's not even a bad effort. Like, that's actually a good shot. This is bullshit. Mash. Oh, brilliant tackle. That's why I still love Mash even to this day. Even though we're in February. Great ball out to Ian Rush. All right, let's see that, that dribbling, mate. Okay, nice. Not, not bad at all. Akuna. Oh, it's good, good dribble. I mean, it wasn't. I don't know. It's weird. I can't put my finger on it. I like it and I don't. Nice. Oh my god, what's this guy's defense doing? Should we just go alone or should we wait? No, what are you rush. doing? What are you doing? Stop! Oh, I've absolutely fucked that. Just that. That will teach me. What's going on? Why do keep not pick that up? That will teach me for feeding. Come on, tackle. No! Oh, come on, dude! Why are we giving him that space, man? You're making me mad, motherfucker! I'm not doing anything! Fuck! I'm about to whoop your ass! Nice. Well play. Brilliant Ian Rush! 
There we go! That is what I was waiting for. I was waiting for him to get in that position where some strikers might miss. He didn't miss, and that's what I really wanted to see, and that is an excellent finish. Go on, Ian Rush. Made a run. What a bowl. That is so much better. Ian Rush! Come on! Big boy Ian Rush with the two beautiful finishes. What a goal. I'm so stoked, my dudes. This is good. Let me check that. That's a brilliant <laughs> That is... <laughs> What's he man? Why are we missing that then? Huh? Ian would have buried that. You fuck. I don't know the aids. What the fuck? No! EA. EA. <laughs> <laughs> get the ball. No. Oh, he's going to get the last chance. If I tackle him, it's just going to be a draw. Uh, oh, he's going to fucking win it. He's actually going to win it. What a save. Don't blow. Maybe. No. Frick, man. I should have won that. Should have won that. Well, overall, boys and girls, I really, really enjoyed this card. I thought it was really, really good. He's definitely not a perfect card. In my opinion, his dribbling does let him down a little bit. It's not great. I would definitely advise a chem style that ups the dribbling. It's not bad or anything. It's just not really good, if that makes sense. It's not Boutra level dribbling. It's He just feels a little bit stiff. Not clunky, just a little bit stiff, you know, if that makes sense. So I think an engine chem style, maybe a sniper chem style, something like that would definitely be ideal. But what I like about this card, pace-wise, feels very decent. He's not got crazy pace. He's not blistering. But he is good enough pace-wise. I had no problems with his pace. Shooting on this card was brilliant. He was absolutely prolific, scoring two beautiful goals in this game. Scored a couple of decent goals in the first game as well. So the shooting card, like, or the shooting on this card, sorry, is amazing. It's it's really, really good. I have to say the favourite thing about this card for me is the attacking positioning. Ian Rush was always in a good position. He was making amazing runs. And if he wasn't making a run, he was just lurking in the right place at the right time. Just, just perfect for you know for, for a striker. He was just always in a good position, which which I absolutely love. So overall, I really enjoyed this card. Reminded me a lot of Gary Lineker's icon card. Very very similar in my opinion. Quite similar to Shevchenko as well. So if you do enjoy that kind of striker, the kind of striker that that buries most of what he shoots with, uh, and, and is just good at positioning and stuff like that, Ian Rush is definitely someone that you want to be considering. But if you're looking for more of a meta striker, someone with really good dribbling and you know just that that kind of striker, a striker similar to like Butra, Ian Rush is definitely not that. He's definitely a positioning type striker and a finishing type striker so if you want someone that's going to get in behind and be really good at dribbling and stuff like that, like a Boutra or a, I don't know just, just a player like that, Ian Rush is not that guy. Anyway lads, I think that's conclude things I hope you did enjoy. If there are any more icons you want me to do, let me know. I'm just sort of you know adding them to my head, like the ones that you guys suggest, so so keep letting me know on icons that you want to see. Also there should be the second set of, uh, of shapeshifters by the time this video goes out. It should be well this video will be out on 4 o'clock, so it'll be about a couple hours just before the new the new set I will, I'll hopefully get round to an objective video for that and then obviously we'll, we'll review those guys so let me know what you want to see with the new shapeshifters and stuff like that looking forward to that it should be really good and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one all right peace